All right, you guys want to listen to something interesting? I found this、uh, nice little、uh, gangster rap music. Oh, yes. Now I'm totally into the gangster rap, by the way. <laughs> no, but this is not hardcore shit. This is,、uh, this is really nice shit. You know, this is like romantic, feel good kind of stuff. And I think it's very appropriate for a lot of these gangsters. It really speaks volumes. By the way,、uh, I really liked it. <laughs> mm hmm. Yes.、Yeah. Every day is a struggle, but we norteños and soreños, we do all we can, we thinking we about can. each other while feeling pleasure from our hands. Every true vato always understands being in the closet while being in love with another man.、Wow. I've been in love with you since the time our eyes met. There was no walking away, you were something I had to get. I had to feel your body while I tasted your salty sweat. I want to feel your touch, the toughest of your loving. It's time we face the truth. It's time we stop the front because we both lived a lie and the lies are good for nothing. I like this. I got no envy for the vatos with the bitches because it's nothing but some dick that fulfills all our wishes. <laughs> Play with me, I'll show you what love is. We can share our chingasos and then we'll share our kisses. You and me, homie, you know there's mm, nothing mm, fine on me. We both want to fuck, so we never need no hyena. I want to be your tramp, you can be my lady. <laughs> I want to fill you up with all my gangsta gravy. Constant thoughts of you lead to constant masturbation. You're the only cure there is for my sexual frustration. I'm always beating off and thinking about a vato. The hold, the love, and the kiss. That's why every time I fall in love, I lose I control of my fists. With the pleasure comes the pain, as life always warns. Just as every rose is beautiful, our love has its thorns. I want to feel your prick、mm. deep inside my anus. Yes. For now, we'll use our fists while we're hiding from our gayness. You descended upon me like you were heaven's dove. We wrestled with our feelings while we wrestled with our love. Even while we fight, you bring me inner、yep. peace.、Homie. The feel of your body brings that sweet, sweet release. I need to feel and smell your body, your spicy manly musk. Every time we hold each other, I always want to bust. We both have needs in each other we can trust. I'll never have no job, but your loving is a must. Blood and sweat, your spit upon my face. I love your body fluids, and I love the way you taste. You got me feeling like I'm. While I'm going deep inside of your back door. Every inch of your body, my tongue loves to explore. Every succulent taste leaves me hungering for more. We'll do anything for that pink to lovin'. From the fighting to the killing. Every day we need that verga, cause our ass is always willing. Cause when it comes to some pirami mayate dick, nothing could ever be more fulfilling. Mm hmm. Wow. That was good. I liked it. <laughs> I don't know about you. Yeah, this is new generation stuff. None of those oldies. <laughs> yeah.、Uh, yeah, it speaks volumes. It speaks a lot of truth right there for a lot of us gangsters, you know? A lot of us homies. Shit. Damn, homie. You almost made me cry. <laughs> I know. Look, I, I went to、um, a gay pride event.、Uh, The first one I went to in LA. And there was like, you know, the regular section of people that you'll find at a gay pride. You know, just like, you know, you know normal people, I would say. And then, you know, there's the, and then you had the leather people, the bears, st- people like that. And then the twinks, and then the guys who are ODing on something.、Um, and then in the back, You see, like, this row of pelones, <laughs> bald heads, <laughs> all these gangsters at, at the gay pride. It was funny. But, I mean, it's good, because,、um, yeah, whatever. Nah, just be yourself. <laughs> yeah, homie. You represent pride. Come here and let me jerk you off. <laughs> yes. 
um, no, man, like where I grew up, there was there was a lot of uh, gangster activity, but like. I want to say my first stick because my first stick wasn't that way, but I would say that probably my f- sixth or seventh, because I I don't have a good memory, sixth or seventh dick that I had <clears throat> was a gangster who lived like two bl- two houses two doors down. He was kind of cute, by the way. He had green eyes. He had big old baggy pants with the wife beater and the bandana and everything. He was on one of those uh, bikes with all the chrome on it and uh, riding down the street. And he looked at me once. He's like, hey, Mato, get over here. And I just talked. And, you know, we became not really good friends, but we just became, you know, friends. You know, say hi. And one day he asked me if I was alone. I said, yeah. And he asked me if I had porn. And I said, yeah. We went to our room. He's like, hey, homie. He always called me homie even though I wasn't like that. Hey, you suck dick? I said, well, yeah. <laughs> A lot of yes. <laughs> that lead to the glorious finish. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I had a good time with that guy. He was nice. And believe me, like, all the gangsters, I don't know. I mean, a lot of my people, Mexicans, they had a lot of bad experience with gangsters, and the reason why is because the 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 gangsters were related to them. Like you had a a son if you, uh, that was in the gang, or you had a nephew that was in the gang. So they usually had bad experiences, obviously. But I was not in a gang. My sister was not in a, in a, you know, a child or anything. Uh, so uh, we were just a normal family in that sense, and. A normal Mexican American family, you know, just trying to pull through, and we were surrounded by a lot of gangsters and a lot of gang bangers and all that. But I never really was enticed to it, you know. I I found a lot of them attractive, not all of them. You know, there were some that were fucking butt ugly. A few of them were pretty pretty interesting fellas, and they were, they were, they were handsome, and they were, and they had he they were packing huge dicks and packing guns and all that, but. But me and my parents, we, we we never had any problems with gangsters. I don't know. One time my father had a flat tire. And um, in the driveway, right? And these two gangsters came up. And we and I thought, to them, oh my God, there's going to be trouble. And I was like, hey, you want some help? Yeah, yeah. And they helped my dad uh, put a new tire on and change the tire. Because the spare tire was also flat. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, and uh, they were nice guys, by the way. And, you know, we never had any problems with our gangster neighbors. We never did. I mean, they came home shot. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they were out doing their thing, you know, their business. And you know, they got shot. So they were driving home all shot up with blood everywhere in the car seat. And uh, we we saw that all the time. Yeah, there were some few drive-bys and all that. But not nothing towards us. Uh and all the gangsters liked us, you know. We, you know, they liked me. They were, hey, you're a cool kid, whatever, you know. Come here, suck our dick. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> I don't know because maybe, yeah, because once you're like in that world, in that gangster world, now you're picking sides. Now you're picking a fight. Now you are invested in this. Now you know, da 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 da. You know, so that's what happens. But ah, uh, uh, I like the song. Brings back a lot of memories.